So to take a minute. So to take a minute and show you uh, what the first stage of polishing does. We've I've done this lower quarter right here already, and you can see the reflections in here. It's just a mere reflection. As I walk towards the rear door, has not been done, and as you start to see, you can see all the stuff in the paint as you see right there. Look there, where the ring is, where the ring is here, you see nothing. Right there. And little things like that. Right in the center of the ring there's a scuff or scratch. That's a very, very light scratch, but it will be gone. As I move towards this way over here, you'll see a few more. See mostly, like you can see it really well there. The closer I get to the edge, you can see how the reflection goes in the paint. It's not crisp. Get down here, I've already done, and it's beautiful. Right there is a pretty good scuff right there. See it really in the light. towards the top and that will all change with a good pass of the roops coarse blue with the coarse pads and then we take it two next pads after that their yellow pad and then their white pad to get the final finish on it and right now on this I use my painter's spotlight, you can still see, look at the difference. No light on the paint. See all that milkiness? That's because I've done a coarse cut on it right now. So you see all that milkiness in there. The finish is actually good, but there's a lot of milkiness in the paint. Over here, it gets even worse. You can see that, how it gets way worse. See that? Here, it's smoothed out. The second cut in there will take a lot of that milkiness out. And then the final will make it look basically like that, but with the light on it. So it's going to look pretty cool. So there you go. Now I've passed over this about three times with the Roops Blue. Um, as you can tell, huge difference compared to that versus this over here. But you can still see, you can see it here. I'm going to try to show you a slight Oh, the human eyes are so much better. But it's, there is a slight hairline scratch right here. There you go. You can see it. It's just above the light. Zoom in on it. So that's super hairline. That scratch right there, dead center. See it there when I brighten up the screen. And I'm going to get rid of that. This is the polishing that I do will take that out. And so this is probably taking three passes to get all those little ones, but then I wipe down and I see that I've got that one final one there left. And we'll go get it. 
Now I'm coming back after I pass that about twice because when I went to wipe it clean on the first time I passed it I had a rag that had dust on it and put more scratches in it just little light scratches but they're all gone now but now it doesn't matter how close you get that scratch is gone But it's just, it was right there, and it is no longer there. The reflection is beautiful on that panel. And again, we take this light. And you still see stuff in the paint. But all those are from the actual roops, and they're light enough to where when the next coating cut goes on there, those will be gone. What's amazing about these particular little lights, that is a X Elgent, excellent, and it's a great light for this. Change the colors, it's a more white light instead of the yellow, brings up the difference in what you see in the paint. Go to a, a blue light, changes again. Go back to the yellow light, like sun. And all that haze that you see there will be completely gone. And without the light, that's how it'll look once it has all its finished coats done. It'll look nice and deep like this. It's amazing what light does when you're working polishes. That's why we work with those lights. So here's a little video uh, of the polishing <laughs> job I've been doing on this 83 Mercedes. Uh, been a task because I wanted this paint to be flawless and perfect. But uh, this will be a nice little video to see the difference on the trunk. Uh, and where it's at. Uh, I've actually done 50% of the trunk here and you'll see a line here. Uh, if you look at the light there, you can see the haze on the right. There the trunk is all done on this half. Here's the trunk on this side and you can see in the light reflections all the big scratches and stuff like that that are coming up in the paint. I'll use this other light here so you can see. But like that scratch, brutal. Um, just in the clear coat though. But this is this, how this whole trunk looked on this side. I've already done the full sides of the car and all the way down below. You can see how over years without proper care that it's just has little scuffs and scratches all over the place and all those were equally if not worse on the left side of the trunk and here's how it looks you can see a massive difference and this is just the cut process that I've done so far and not even the finish polish on top of this yet, which there's two more finishes to go on top, but you can see the, the line, how it changes right there. Used a piece of tape to make that line. And that scratch went all the way into this area over here. Then there were several big scratches up towards this area over here. They're all gone. 
and it is turning out beautiful. Let's see what a difference that's making. It's pretty cool, but this half of that trunk, I've spent about six hours today correcting that top side of that trunk, doing a paint correction. But it is turning out absolutely beautiful. And I'll probably have another six hours I'll be spending on this section tonight to get it done. And all those faint circles that you see in the light when you look at that, those will all go away. As well as the deep scratches. Like that's a super, these are all superficial scratches, but man, you see them bad and there you don't like I said that scratch went clean across to about midway about as long in the middle of the trunk on the other side as it is on this side but that side over there had a lot more of those and they're all gone so pretty excited about how this car is turning out 1983 Mercedes 240D with 16,400 original miles and it deserves a museum quality finish and it's getting it so all the sides are already done all the way down to the bottom put these things on the lift so i can actually get as good a quality all the way to the bottom of the car and then what i've got left to do i've got the roof left and the hood has not been done yet but you can see the same stuff in the hood all that will come out with good polishing and refinishing so excited about how this car is turning out you see all the scratches in this thing probably like from a cat getting on it or something like that cats are not friendly when it comes to car paint. But they leave a lot of marks, a good cover on a car like this, or making sure that you don't have a cat that can get into a garage is usually the best thing to make a paint finish continue to look as good as it does right now. So, working on it and be coming along see like on the hood here see these long scratches that go up through that do that one that one there is at least two and a half to three feet long on that hood you can see it there that will be gone by the time I'm finished but lots of fun to make these things look perfect a lot of work got about roughly 16 to 20 hours in this polish stage on this car so far got another at least that to finish it a lot of finessing